Hey guys, so I am here in Ghent of Norfolk, Virginia. Ghent is a really cool spot close to downtown Norfolk. It is pretty much between the Midtown Tunnel and the Downtown Tunnel. Positioned really between 21st, 22nd Street. Once you get down to CHKD and Norfolk General Sentara Hospital down there. It is a really fun place to visit if you haven't seen Ghent. And it's also a really fun place to live. I've had a ton of friends live here and and actually make it their home. Uh, they've been here for decades, but it's actually a place that myself and, and Jonathan, we come here probably weekly or bi-monthly to visit and go to our favorite restaurants, basically. Ghent is one of those spots that it's very eclectic. So you have a ton of apartment living. Uh, you have condo living. You have single family homes as well. It's a hub of art and really amazing eating eateries, uh, lots of breweries. If you are a craft beer or a cuisine enthusiast, then you will absolutely love this area. The streets are littered with fun, eclectic eateries, um, everything from Mexican cuisine, Italian, good old American food. They do a lot of festivals. Uh, you can go to the Narrow and see some really fun concerts. They also show some old school movies or um, very specific movies like old horror films or, or things like that. It's really fun. You have to look at the, the bulb board there because you never know what they're, they're gonna be showing and sometimes you'll catch something on a good day and you're like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen that in 20 years. Uh, so it's a fun place to go. The concerts are always amazing there. It's typically standing room only, but it is a ton of fun. Jonathan and I actually come here quite often. We have a few favorite restaurants here. Uh, I'm a beer and wings kind of gal. And so Peck and Poor is our spot. It's a very small sport-like tavern uh, with amazing wings. Their bulgogi platter is to die for. We also love uh, Luna Maya. Uh, that's more of a upscale uh, Mexican cuisine. So you're gonna spend a little high dollar there, but it is totally worth it. You wanna make a reservation because they, they fill up fast. If you love burgers, you have to hit up 8020 Burger for their gourmet burgers. There is any type of burger you could imagine and things you didn't even imagine. They have seasoned french fries that are really awesome. Uh, another fun place that we like is Super. That's more of a gourmet southern comfort food place. They have a downstairs uh, dining room, but they also have a rooftop dining that's outside and it is so beautiful at night. It's, it's one of our favorite places to go out here in Ghent. And if you're looking for something fun to do, you have to check out the retro arcade area of uh, Pixels and Pints. That uh, They have a good food, good beer, but the fun thing about them is they have a ton of old school arcade games and you'll just feel like a kid again. Go buy a bunch of tokens and you can have fun for hours. We have literally played a pinball machine for probably an hour and a half obsessively and could not stop. It was a lot of fun. Anyway, so let's talk about real estate here in Ghent. You're gonna have everything, like I said, apartment buildings, you have condo buildings, and a lot of single family homes. If you love being in a busy hub, if you're coming from a city life, this is absolutely the place for you. Everything is right here that you'll ever need from grocery stores, Whole Foods, you've got pharmacies, doctor's offices, restaurants, um, art shops, art galleries, little boutiques so you can buy little knickknacks. There are a lot of really beautiful antique shops. You can buy some really fun antique furniture. It is just a really fun, eclectic place to live. Uh, there's a lot of people that live here. If you are a dog lover, then uh, you will be best friends with anyone walking down the street with their dog. See a lot of people walking around, riding their bike. Uh, you'll even see a Segway here and there. And, and you can rent a scooter on just about any corner of the streets here. There are schools close by. There are interstates close by. Uh, hospitals close by. ODU is also pretty close. Uh, it's a really awesome community. Everyone is very open, very friendly, and it's just open to make friends, honestly. If you like craft beer, you've got to hit up some of the spots around here. They have amazing craft beer places. Some of our favorites would be Smart Mouth. Uh, we love O'Connor's. Uh, they do a ton of foodie festivals and craft beer festivals um, pretty much almost every weekend of the summer and in the fall. I think Smart Mouth actually has a yoga morning on Sundays so you can do yoga and then drink beer afterwards. I mean, who wouldn't love that? Back to real estate here. 
the houses are gonna be very close to each other. So when I say tight knit community, it's literally physically tight. Um, you have a ton of living, a ton of people living here in, in this 10 block vicinity. You know, there's, you're not gonna turn a corner and not see someone that, that you don't know, honestly. Um, once you live here or even visit here, you're always gonna see somebody you know. Everyone's very friendly. The yards in the houses are, are not very big. Uh, so if you need a big yard for your dog or for your kids to play, this might not be the place for you. You can, it's one of those spots where you can, you could throw an orange and you're gonna hit your next door neighbor's house. Um, so if you're, if you value space and a lot of privacy and, and big yards and space between homes, this is not gonna be the spot for you. But if you like that community feel where everyone knows each other and, and, and is into each other's business, um, if you like art, beer, fooderies, uh, you're gonna absolutely love the feel of Ghent. Uh, I haven't specifically lived here, but I have visited Ghent and I've loved it ever since I was 16 and was able to drive. Uh, it was one of the first places I just fell in love with in this area. The homes in this area are gonna be on the older side. So a lot of these houses were built in the early 1900s. They have a ton of historical charm. They're mostly brick buildings, and so they're very, very well built. If you're gonna buy here though, make sure you have a really good home inspector, because uh, this is a, it is considered a flood zone area. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you, you do your dil diligence, you know what you're getting yourself into underneath that house, because a lot of these homes are actually built on a very teeny tiny uh, basement but you wanna make sure that there isn't a lot of water damage. And if there has been, that it was taken care of. Uh, houses in size here, you're gonna find everything from like 1,500 square foot home to four and 6,000 square feet. Uh, houses actually are gonna start, you can buy a detached apartment condo for about 130, believe it or not. Um, and those places are gonna come with amenities, probably an elevator in the building um, and, and really tight, security uh, to single family homes that you're gonna find in the 350 range and and they'll go all the way up to that high dollar million dollar mark uh, there are some absolutely stunning historical homes here that have been that have been refurbished and uh, they are beautiful to see and beautiful to drive by and beautiful to uh, live in as well. You're close by Norfolk General, EVMS, CHKD. So there's a lot of, a lot of people in the medical field live right here. Uh, ODU is very close by, so there's actually a lot of uh, students that live here, graduates that live here, uh, and professors as well. It is, you're really in the perfect spot here in Ghent to be close to parks. Uh, you're close to, like I said before, the Midtown Tunnel that takes you to the Portsmouth, Suffolk, Chesapeake side. And then you're close to the Downtown Tunnel or 264 that takes you all the way down to Virginia Beach. Uh, a lot of people will go straight down uh, Hampton Boulevard and get to the Norfolk Naval Base as well. So again, it's a great spot if you're looking for art, beautiful streets, cobblestone, sidewalks, um, history, art, you will you will love this place. If you if you don't end up moving here, uh, then you at least have to stop by and and visit the shops, the art, visit the people here, and and you have to see some of the eateries that are here as well because you will uh, you will not be disappointed with the variety of restaurants. They're all locally owned. It's really hard to find a, a chain restaurant around here, so you know you're supporting a local business. It's a lot of fun to visit down here. Right, so speaking of art, you're really close to uh, Chrysler Hall, which is where there's a lot of plays, operas, um, and symphonies come and travel and, and, and you can go and, and see all of those shows as well. Um, Chrysler Museum is a beautiful spot to visit. The grounds are gorgeous. Uh, you can actually do events there. And um, it's actually a really decent museum if you love um, art and, um, and sculptures and, and a lot of history there as well. We take, we've probably taken the kids there four or five times and there's always something new to see. Eastler Hall is really like across the way, across the street from the Norfolk Scope Arena, which you can see anything from comedians to uh, hockey games 
to uh, WWE events. There's a lot of events that happen there and, and it's something for everyone. So you're really close by there. Also, MacArthur Center Mall is, is right here in downtown Portsmouth. In the uh, Christmas time, they actually put a ice skating rink outside um, and have a ton of like festival Christmassy stuff to do. And it's a really fun place to go. Like this is Norfolk, Virginia. So we really don't get snow a lot. Uh, so the fact that you can do an outdoor skating rink at Christmas time is actually really special. You're not going to find it anywhere else in the Hampton Roads area. Uh, there's also a lot of businesses down here as well, not just restaurants and, and art galleries um, or theaters. There's a lot of offices. Uh, people, this is their hub. So you have a lot of different businesses that work here. Anything from dentist offices to real estate offices. You have lawyers and medical centers. So it's, a, it's really a hub. You can find a job here probably very easily. There's always people hiring. Um, and there's always, there's always buildings open or homes for sale here. And uh, Jonathan and I would love to help you find those homes and, and drive you around. Maybe even take you to one of our favorite restaurants. Uh, it's absolutely a place you've got to check out if you're moving to the Hampton Roads area. Um, it's a must-see, must-go-to place uh, to spend an evening or uh, make your home. So thanks for driving around with me here in the Ghent area of Norfolk, Virginia uh, in the uh, black Jeep Wrangler that the Beasleys drive. This was, It's a fun, bumpy ride here. Thanks for joining us. If you like these videos, please follow us, uh, subscribe, like the video, comment below. Let us know what you want to hear about. Let us know what you liked about this video or any questions you might have about Ghent in particular. Uh, would love to let you know, um, answer your questions. And we will see you on the next video. We are professionals in real estate and passionate about people. Jonathan's not here, but this is Rach Beasley. Professionals in real estate and passionate about people. See you next week.